Welcome back to Scratch Game Development. So far, we've been working on multiple projects, but they've only had one screen. Most large applications and games have several screens. So today, let's learn how to create more screens and uh, move through each of them. Let's code. Now, before we get into screens, let's first learn how to change a sprite's costume. When we create a sprite, we can see the currently available costumes in the Costumes tab. Now, what if we want to change our sprite's costume? Here's an example. We want to show costume 2 when our sprite is moving and costume 1 when our sprite is staying still. When the right arrow is clicked, we run the switch costume command to change to the running sprite and then switch back to the original costume for the still sprite. It's pretty simple, right? We can also change the sprite's size. The sprite size starts off at 100, and if it increases, the sprite gets bigger. And if it decreases, the sprite gets smaller. Here's an example where we increase the size of the sprite with the up arrow, and then decrease the size with the down arrow. Cool. Now that we've learned how to customize our sprites, let's learn how to create multiple screens. First, click the Add Backdrop button on the bottom right of the screen. Now, add the background of your choice. Next, click on the Stage section in the bottom right of the screen. Now, go to the Backdrop section in the top left of the screen. You should see a screen like this with the background that you chose. On the right, we have our original backdrop with the new one we just added. You want to see something really cool? We can change between backdrops while the game is running. Here's a basic example where we'll switch to the original backdrop if we press the left arrow key, and we'll move on to the new one when we press the right arrow key. All right, there's a lot more you can do with sprite customization and multiple screens. So check out the other options in the looks sidebar section and try some of them out. I'll meet you again in the next lesson.